today. It's such a short video that nothing really interesting happens. I'm sorry. What good is the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content? In this video, we resolve a slightly annoying feature of the BMW M2. It's gonna be a quick video, so let's dive right into it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new video. So let me show you what the issue is here. When we put the car in reverse, the rear park distance control obviously gets activated, meaning that it turns on the rear parking camera, if you have one, and the rear parking sensors. So when you're parking the car, the rear parking sensors obviously start to beep whenever you get close to something which is good. The thing is though, is that they don't stop beeping when you put the car back in neutral or drive again, which is super annoying. You're just simply not able to turn off the beeping. Let me show you what I mean. So we put the car in reverse, and as you can see, the rear park distance control gets activated. All right, so now let's back up into this Ferrari. There we go. So now the car is in reverse, but if we then put it in, yes, thanks. If, if we then put it in neutral again, it continues to beep, even after, even after you put it in drive again. Not sure why it's switching between a continuous beep and an intermittent beep. Luckily, the Hunter Hoffman found a solution to this. Well, the internet did, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. So the only way to turn off this beeping is by turning off the car. Silence. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this panel with this one. So as you can see, this panel has a button to deactivate the park distance control. Meaning that we can turn off the beeping while parking or after parking. Luckily, no wiring or coding is required. And the only thing we would need to change is this button. So let's get this panel out of here and install the other one. All right, so we're first gonna remove this panel with a plastic tool. Then disconnect this connector. And there we have it. All right, so this is our old unit and this is the new unit. So as explained earlier, we would also need to change these buttons as the M2 has a sport and comfort button and the non M2 had a sport and eco pro button, whatever eco pro means. So we're going to remove the tall part of this panel and then pop out the button and then switch it over. Then we're going to pop out this button. And now do the same with this one. Then we're gonna switch this one over to the new one. Then reinstall this panel. And there we go. So now let's install this on the car. All right, so now it's a matter of reconnecting the panel and popping it back in. And there we have it, so let's test it out now. But first, check out the link in the top right-hand corner for the install of these yellow DRLs. All right, so let's test this bad boy out. First, we're going to turn on the engine. Then we're going to put it in reverse. And as you can see, the light of the button goes on. And the car starts randomly beeping again, as we're still quite close to the Ferrari. As you can see, the car obviously now does its thing. So when we now turn this off, the car is quiet again. You can then put it in neutral and the car remains quiet. If we turn this on again, it starts beeping again. So I think this is a very nice addition to have and hope you guys enjoyed this bit of content. All right, so as I said, a very quick video for you guys. Next time we're gonna do another upgrade to the M2. It's gonna be a real interesting one. So please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. What's up guys? What's up everyone? What's up review? What's up everyone? What's up everyone? So let me show you. What's up everyone? So let me show you what the issue is here. When we put the car in reverse, the park distance control.
When we put the car in reverse, the park distance control obviously gets a What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. So the thing is,